Arigato, konnichiwa. Hello, guys. I am Davi of the Bad Blood of the Dance Floor. I'm serving some Goblin King Realness, you know, keep it crispy. You know what I'm saying? Coming in with that slime green. I just want to say thank you to all our terrific and fantastic fans. I swear, you're stupendous. And uh, I want to just talk about life. I want to get in touch with the zone of what's happening and what's going on. Silence and negativity. Understand that those who wish to hurt you or try to disrupt your peace don't deserve your energy. Sometimes there's always a harsh reality. It, it hurts a lot to, to watch the person you love become everything you should avoid. It's difficult sometimes to watch the person that you love treat you like they hate you. And even though it hurts like hell, should you continue to hold on to what they were instead of accepting what they've become? It's that harsh reality with falling in love with the surface and unexpectedly facing the hard reality of that truth. The sad part is I held on to something hoping that you would change. And sometimes we all hope for something that will never happen. And that is the sad fucking truth. <laughs> sometimes it feels like I'm drowning in an ocean of emotion. Sometimes you have to drown in order to learn how to swim. All the beautiful minds and beautiful hearts who wake up tired in motion, restless during nights and unable to sleep, drain both physically and mentally. You are beautiful. You are good enough. You are strong. You are survivors. I guess I'm just kind of opening up emotionally. There's been things that I've been going through that I just want to hopefully people take my lessons and turn them into blessings. And ultimately, I'm just here to motivate people and remind them that you are enough. You know, we just finished the album Kawaii Monster, which launches on Halloween! So really stoked. Also, say hello to my fiance, Fallon Vendetta. Hey guys, I'm Fallon, and Davi and I thought that it was really important to talk to you guys this week. It's Mental Health Awareness Week, and we feel like there's a lot going on in the world. That's kind of crazy. So it's important to take time to worry about you and how you're feeling. You know, there's a lot of negativity and I think that many of us are choosing to focus on the negative rather than the positive. Life's too short for that. You have to focus on what you have. And by that, I don't mean materialistic things. I mean friends, family, stuff that can change in an instant. Every day is a blessing, so don't take it for granted. There's always gonna be somebody who tries to bring you down. There's always gonna be someone who thinks that they're better than you. Don't ever let that shape who you are as an individual. If you feel like you need help, if you feel like you need an outlet, find something positive, find a support system. Look for little things to lift you up. You know, we are talking about the best revenge being success, and it is truly success. You never see anyone who's doing better than you saying anything bad about you. Anybody who's true in your life is going to support you. They're going to raise you up. They're not going to try to cause you any harm. Just know that you are enough. You are beautiful. You're smart. You're funny. If you're not any of those things in your mind, you're probably wrong. You don't have to fit into anybody's ideals of beauty standards. You don't have to have what everybody else has. You don't have to like the same things that everybody else likes. That's the cool thing about humans. That's the cool thing about being individuals. We are granted that liberty. Oh! If I can fit. <laughs> um, yes, so welcome as we celebrate a uh, one year anniversary. Me and Fallon have been together for a year. And you know, relationships are like roller coasters. They have extreme highs and they have extreme lows. But through it all, she's been my lighthouse. She's been my guide, my navigation uh, to safety and security. So I can't thank her enough for being the best future wife of my life. And you know, for once, guys, this is really going to be something that changes my life forever. This is someone that I and truly I'm going to grow old with and that I'm really happy with. So, you know, despite everything that we've been through, you know, I got rid of a lot of past mistakes. I got, I made a lot of discoveries being in a relationship with her. But at the same time, you know, I can't thank her enough and I'm so grateful for her eternal love and just her being there. So, so sweet. I not only you. did she help me resurrect my dream back, she's been the best partner I've ever had. And I can't thank her enough for everything. And I can't thank my fans and everyone that supported our love and that's been there for us and has set our relationship goals and all this positivity. So we want to thank you guys very much. Thank you much. guys so much. Uh, this is our first record that we've ever created together. It's called Kawaii Monster. 
It comes out on October 31st, and we're stoked to bring it to you. I think it's the greatest Blood and Dance record. It's hands down the most meaningful record. And do uh, you want to tell the folks what it's all about? So, Quiet Monster is basically the monster and the kind side to all of us. It's a duality between personality. So you kind of got to decide which way you're going to head. And, uh... <laughs> yeah. So, peace and love. Yeah. <laughs>